Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today I'm going to, I finished a new journal, I finished, it's not a new journal, I finished a journal and I'm going to do a flip through of the second half. So I have flipped through the first half of this journal and I'll leave the link to that below. Um, you may remember from some of the pages. So I'm starting off in the middle and I'll go through. So um, this is my used up journal, any excess paint I've got left over on my um, board that I'm working on gets scraped into here. So this is what happened in this page. I was doing a page with lots of blues in it, had lots of blues in the background, did some stenciling. Um, this is a printable from Little Raven Ink. Added some wings on and just the quote. So um, I love using this journal because it, it, the backgrounds are already half done for you. So most everything's done. This page I had in my journal for ages. I really like the background but it didn't quite work the way I wanted it to um, and it dulled down a lot because I put a, a blue wash over it which I thought would help frame things up but I kind of got carried away which is a bit like me but I sort of like the moodiness of it. Um, this is another printable from Little Raven Ink. I really like using printables in my used up journal because again it's really quick and handy. Um, you've already got the background, you can add a little bit of stenciling or um, stamping over the top and then add your printable and just do some extra mic making as well. Um, in this page I was playing around with my um, font, writing fonts. <laughs> So this is another example of sort of what a use it up journal is. You can see in the background I've been practicing with some different coloured inks and stamps. I've been using my brayer to roll out stuff. I was playing around with my neon paints. Um, these are both printables as well and I've just chucked those on over the top to finish it off. So um, some of these pages look more complete and more composed than others. But um, yeah, I, I enjoy it. I, I love it having the challenge to work with something that's already on the page. This page, again, you can see in the background, lots of random paints just been swiped on this page. Um, the mark making in the background, I, my daughters got my paint pens and we were drawing on it together, so there's some of their mark making in the background. And I just went over it with a black mask to try and make it more cohesive and bring it together. And then I um, used one of my own, this is a bird that I did, there's a video of it a few months ago. Um, so I colour copied it and reduce the size of it to stick in and um, to use this bit of collage photo in my journals. These are some pages and again these are up on my, um, on my channel uh, using the Scrap FX um, rice papers and some of their new things, some of their stamps and I really love doing this technique so I did another one <laughs> and again this is probably my favourite one, I just like love the pop of colour on here and this is one of my favourite stencils from Scrap FX as well. I also was really lucky to get some stencils from Stencil Girl and these are two of their face stencils which I really loved and again they're really dramatic faces so having just a really random background just sort of brings everything into focus so um, don't be scared of having a mess in your art journal because you can do stuff to it to bring it all together. These are again pages using scrap FX. There's a lot of scrap FX stuff in here because the size of it, this journal fits um, the pieces really well. Um, so these are the new figures from Michelle Logan, which I am obsessed with. I love Michelle's work anyway, but um, I got these figures and you'll see they pop up quite regularly in this little journal. This page again is using um, printables from Little Raven Ink. Um, and it was just on a, I had excess black paint in here, so I'd put a page in and I thought, oh, well, I've got these stars from Darkroom Door, I'll put those in the background and then just make a, a scene over the top. All my printables I print out onto sticker paper, just cheap sticker paper I get from my news agents. If you've got an office works place next to you or near you, um, I'm sure you can find some sticker paper in there or, you know, A4 sheets of sticker um, paper, adhesive paper. Um, I've got a laser printer so I just print out into that and then when I'm cut out it's already got the glue on it. So for something particularly fine like this, which I didn't actually cut out, I used a scan and cut to do that and it cut out half of the middle bit. Um, yeah, you don't need to worry about glue and everything, you just stick it straight down. Here are some more of Michelle's amazing um, figures that I've stuck in here. I put a little bit of chipboard crown on this one. And again, you can see I had leftover red and orange paint, so I've just scraped that in. 
on seeing the finished page. For those of you who um, watch lots and lots of my videos, you'll quite often see me grab this journal um, when I've got leftover paint and just paint stuff in. So you may actually have seen me do some of these backgrounds in some of my videos. This piece was inspired by um, Lisa Oxley, the wonderful Scrap Witch Lisa. Um, she does these amazing uh, rainbow backgrounds. She's just her control of colour is just amazing. I just absolutely adore it. So um, I wanted to replicate something similar in my book. And again, one of Michelle's um, beautiful figures. And then I used gold texture paste to do the wings. So it's a really simple page, but I really love it. Um, the other thing I really like doing in my used up journal, because the backgrounds are so crazy, is doing sort of these magazine collages. Now, um, these are from the Diarively new collage sheets that she's just brought out. And the small, you in the set you get 24 sheets and it's got large images and in the back it's got the same images reduced half size. The half size images are really good for this um, size journal which is the 8.5 by 5 inches or the A5 size journal. Um, so they just fit in beautifully into this. And again, you know, I was trying out her new cocktail paints in the background. I sort of use this as a bit of a swatch book too. And then I could put some stuff over the top of it. Um, with the crazy background here, I had blacks and, and greens. So in the collage, I brought some of those greens and then the pink to contrast with it. Um, this is another figure from Michelle Logan. And this bit in the background is actually one of my new rice papers that has just been released by Scrap FX too. So... Um, you can purchase that if, if you would like to. Um, and I love using rice papers, especially coloured rice papers like this, because this is a really, really mucky page. You can see just that grey in the background. Um, and just by putting a rice paper over the top with a little bit of different colour on it, you've still got some of that texture showing through, but you've got something interesting in your background without having to do much. So this page literally took less than 10 minutes because it was tear a piece of rice paper, stick it down, stick this figure down, put that over the top and then just use a little bit of paint pen. So really, really simple to do. Um, on this page, I found some neon oil pastels, which I don't use very often in my um, art journal. So I was playing around with those in the background, trying to scratch into them. So it's got um, um, interesting texture on it and then just put the collage over the top and that quote is very very true at the moment <laughs> uh, this is another page using um, my collage tissues in the background so all this colored bit is my collage tissues and um, doing some stamping over the top and then putting one of michelle's beautiful images over it and um, let ike help you through the dark which um, at the moment ike has been very very therapeutic with everything that's going on in the world um, and with all the wonderful artists who are sharing their artwork has just been amazing so you'll probably see a theme in the quotes coming up in the next few pages because um, this has been done mid-April, late late March, mid-April. Um, so, yeah. We either make ourselves miserable or make ourselves strong. The amount of work is the same. Um, this page was done after, well, I'd watched Dina Wakeley's overpainting video, which she did a few weeks ago. Uh, uh, if you go to her Art of Dina Wakeley blog and look in the videos, you can go back and have a look at it. I've actually painted this over one of Dina's white um, collage papers. So um, I had the black in the background. I pasted the white collage tissue over it and then painted over the top. So it gave me the outline of the face that I could draw in which was really really handy and obviously because it was on the black I had that contrast to see where I wanted to paint. Um, this is another page again you can see in the background all my paint. Um, this is a technique that I like to do when I've got lots of paint. I think I've got another sample of it back here somewhere. Yeah on this page too. Is, it's probably easier to see on this page um, just brush strokes of paint all over the page I don't actually clean the brush and then just go into another color and sort of overlap it so you get this overlapped effect so that's what I've done in this background um, and then just to sort of tie it all together I used a stencil and black over the top I've also dropped some paint on there that wasn't very clever was it um, and then outlined this stencil just to give that little bit of a pop so it was pretty simple because I already had the background. All I had to do was stencil over the top and I had the magazine image that sort of had the same patterns, 
to pull it all together and then just put the border around it. This is another page doing that overpainting technique. This is an image out of Dina Wakeley's Collage Collective. It was a white image to begin with, just black and white. So I've put the colour in over the top, which I really liked. And again, you can see in the background, I just had a mix of colours. I stenciled over it to sort of pull it together and then put the image in the focal image. So um, if it is really, really crazy background, there are ways around um, making it look more cohesive. This is a mantra we've been hearing lots recently. Um, I was playing around, I had got the new Dilusions paints um, in the new bottles. And I don't, I, maybe it's just me, but they seem to be a different formulation from the old um, hockey puck ones. So I was struggling with them a little bit. But anyway, I came up, I really liked the background um, and did some stenciling through the white pen as well, just to add a pop of color. I really loved this image and it sort of spoke to what's happening at the moment and going to the supermarket and seeing people walk around with masks. So um, I sort of put it together so that this bright, bright background and actually the background reminds me of the image and the colours in our local news updates. The, they have a picture of the coronavirus and it's sort of done in these colours. So that's what was kind of in my head when I saw that. It's like, oh yeah, this all works together. So I try not to document stuff like that, but obviously it's weighing on, on everyone at the moment. So having something in here sort of gets it out of my head. This page is uh, very Dina heavy. Um, I had lots of collage in the background and it sort of had those pinks and yellows in it. So I just sort of continued with that theme and then put some of the rice paper over the top and added some um, stamped words to it. So it was fairly simple to do, just sort of layering up. And then my last page, um, Your Soul Shines and Renew. So trying to get everything off my chest and just going oh, <laughs> with everything that's going on. So this is a stamped image that I've stamped onto tissue paper and then drawn over the top. The great thing about stamping onto tissue paper is you can sort of blend it into the background so it sort of it looks like you've drawn it when you've got that model there to do it. So that is my very quick art journal flip. Um, I've had lots of fun working in this journal. I've got my new Got my brand new journal waiting to go. It's a different shape this time though, so I don't know how I'm going to go with it. I couldn't get the same, the same size, so it'll be interesting. Um, but this will be my new use it up journal. So um, yeah, so if you don't have a use it up journal, I would highly, highly suggest it. Um, if you want to see the first part of this journal, check out the link below to the other journal. I started this on the 18th of the 6th, so it's taken me nearly a year to complete it. But it's nice and chunky and I can't wait to add it to my shelf with all my other ones. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.